going for it. It's a uh, very nervy derby we're looking forward to. The game is underway. Woking playing from right to left as myself, Ian and Rob look. All a shot left to right. They're shooting towards the Leslie Gossin stand. The visitors woking towards the packed Kingfield Road end. James Daly with his first touch in the game. Marching down the left-hand side, chased by Vincent. It's number eight on number eight. Clicked into the penalty area. Looking for Kellerman. A Mond on the turn as Luca Ashby Hammond sees that out for the first goal. And they bring it forward now with Vincent over on that far side. Now with Glover. Glover the wrong side of Rowan Ince. Infield looking for Effion. Snatched off him by Kellerman. Thanks very much indeed, Chris. As Ince gets it away, header by Amond. It's two on two if Woking can get this right. <laughs> with Amond now looking for Brown. Brown is there, left footed over the keeper! Yeah! And off the post and in! Who joined a couple of months ago. Good money. He's taking his chance as well. Effiong looking for Amaluza, nearly the wrong side. Here's Frank Vincent now galloping forward in the centre of the pitch, seeking out support with Glover. Opening up his body, Kellerman comes flying in, Glover still has it. Now with Amaluza, dragging away from Casey, shaping for the shot. Wonderful challenge from McNerney. Finding Vincent, shouldered onto Glover, low ball, looking for Amaluza, got the ball a little bit stuck, gets the strike away, and it's high and wide. It's rolling out of play comfortably for a goal kick, which they take quickly all the shot. And Amaluza wasn't really anticipating it, although he is there, it's bounced off the back of Ross, Amaluza. It's a bit awkward for him, needs a bit of support as Ross rushes back to his goal. Here's Ineff Young turning back onto his right boots, looking for Klass on the edge of the penalty area. Klass looking to go right to Glover. It gets there in the end, but Woken are getting numbers back now. Glover, low ball straight into Craig Ross. Vincent arriving just too late. And away by Cordner. Here's Amaluza now on the turn. Lovely ball down through the lines to Ineff Young, who's driving forward now up against Charlie O'Connell. Switches back to his right boot. F. Young still going! And equalises! Ine Effiong, he just had to score! Scorer on Boxing Day! Scorer on New Year's Day! And Ine Effiong has equalised for Aldershot Town against his former side! He had so yeah. many. He was touted as a, a very good player in League One. I think began at Arsenal a long time ago. So Casey's resulting free kick is cleared away by Effiong, only to the head of Ince. Effiong's wrestling with McNerney now, arriving is Kellerman. Hasn't cleared it though. Kellerman, was he caught? Penalty! It was a bit of a, he was caught obviously, and here we go with Reese Brown. Reese Brown up against Ashby Hammond. Reese Brown sends him the wrong way! Woken are back in front! 4-4-2, plays 4-4-2. Woken. But Aldershot rather, who did the double over Woking in the 2021 and 20 season, the 17-18 season and the 16-17 season. Woking's last and only ever double over Aldershot Town was in the 2015-2016 season. They lead here by two goals to one. In what will be a long 45 minutes for the hosts. Effiong. Beyond O'Connell. And Amond will keep this in play, slipped by an all shot town defender, gets back to his feet quickly, offloading to Kellerman. Lovely couple of step-overs as well. Kellerman lets fly a shot. Corner can clean up and uh, spreads the play out to the right side, of which Glover will not give this up and keep this in play. It's an ambitious ball into the box, no yellow shirts there. Amaluza on the edge of the penalty area, left-footed curling effort is beyond the goal and indeed Craig Ross Amon charging forward into the Aldershot Town box Amon with his back to goal looking for support first time ball from Daly is a good one looking for Kellerman Woking are 3-1 up now because he just won't go away he's a pest for you against you and oh the keeper's lost out well. here and the keeper's lost it to Amon who has an empty goal to tuck it in and Amon's made it four and a keeper that has been pretty solid this year. He's one of three all shot town players to play every single game. He's on loan from Fulham, learning his trade. He's played all in the youth system at Fulham, under 18s, 23s. His season at Aldershot, you'd hate to think will be remembered by that mistake. It's a low drive from Vincent, straight at Craig Ross. Lamond, who struggled at the start of season, start of the season, four goals. Mom. As Paniatu hits one from range and he just got the feeling that Craig Ross wasn't always comfortable there. Casey 
and two yellow shirts in front of him has somehow trickled it through to Anderson. Well, touch went flying in there, and Anderson could that be in a spot be a of bother. That might it be is. A red. It's a red card. Curled in though, looking for Phillips off the crossbar. Not too sure if Ross got a touch. His effort, Young, finding his left foot, slices the effort. He's still going, meanwhile. And Glover goes all the way back out to Davis, floating a ball towards the back post beyond Effie Young. Harfield is there though. Low drive across the face of goal, and Glover puts it wide. Off the crossbar, good opportunity. Glover, Effie Young. He knows what it's like to be on the wrong side of this fixture. Harfield. Glover. Woking fans up against the barriers, ready to celebrate, but they can't celebrate yet. Elba Fonte de Paniar to Ross saved it anyway, flags up. It's a good ball actually from Glover yeah, to give him credit. There it is. The full-time whistle was blown. Derby Day belongs to Woking. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.